Hey, you don't fucking know your job. You sit down back here. Hey, I'm waiting. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah? I'm waiting. I'm waiting for my ticket. I have my document. Hi guys, so some of the things I've been seeing on social media these days makes me feel like there's something in the water or is it in the air? Perhaps people are so stressed about this pandemic because some of the behaviors being exhibited by people on planes is seemingly not rational or is it? This video today is going to be focused on like travel etiquette. You know what I mean, like travel behavior. Sometimes when I fly, I feel like a lot of people are not aware of just like the unsaid rules of traveling. And sometimes it's really not their fault because they don't travel that often. So that might be the reason why they're behaving a certain way. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a video that a Travel to Ninja community member shared um, with us about her experience when she was flying um, last week from Lagos to Paris on an Air France flight. I'll be sharing exactly what happened as told by the community member and also sharing with you the varying feedback from the general Travel to Nigeria community when we decided to post this video um, on our Instagram page. To be honest, the feedback was very, was ranging from different extremes. And if I'm to be honest, I sort of understand both perspectives. I want you to take your time to truly watch this video, listen to the varying points I shared by the different members of the Travel to Nigeria community. Was the lady right in her behavior or in her sort of explanation, or do you think she was completely out of order and she had absolutely no right um, to anything? So guys, I'm going to leave all my traditional intros aside, but as always, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and give this video a huge thumbs up. So I'm going to play the video right now so you guys can watch it. You don't fucking know your job. You sit down back here. Hey, I'm waiting. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah? I'm waiting. 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 I told you they'll kick her out. They'll kick you out if you don't have a point. They'll kick you out if you don't have a point. I got you. Okay? You said that. So, a lot was happening in that video, so we decided to ask the community member who sent us this video what exactly happened and this is what she said she said the woman was primitive to say the least to say the least on a flight where you put your luggage overhead she saw that above her seat there was luggage already she now started shouting that it's her space because that's her seat number and whoever put their bag there should remove it people were telling her to put it anywhere but she said no, she paid for the seat and space above. Air hostess told her she can store it for her further ahead. She told her to shut up. She now took the bag off the overhead thing and threw it on the floor. The person who owned the bag, a man said, are you mad? He wanted to beat her. Wahala started. The woman's mouth was filthy. To be honest, she even told one old woman to and mind her business. When the French hair hostess tried to calm her down, she told her to calm down, learn how to do your job, lol. Then because the hair hostess had a French accent, the rude lady told the hair hostess to speak English, that they were in Nigeria, imagine. So now they said they would kick her out. But some people tried to talk to hair hostess and pilot, 
they allowed her to that they should allow her to stay, but she was out. Very rude, horrible lady. Guys, that was intense. I feel like if I was in that environment, I'll just be in the corner, just like looking like, mm. first of all, like even watching the video, like without even the commentary that this person shared, like the moment you start to swear at eostesis, I feel like you you begin to escalate situations beyond where they should be. And at that point, they probably have the right to kick you off a flight or to treat you anyway, because you basically set the precedence that you have no manners, you know? Um, so I don't know what you guys think about this experience so far. I'm, I'm sure some of you are jumping into the comments already. Feel free to jump into the comment section, but I'm now going to share um, some of the comments that some travel to Niger people had to say about it. Um, Ruby Dawn Serge says, oh, wow, no way. Go gonna have to start paying for a first class business class flight ticket. This is too much. I guess the person is just saying that they didn't want to be around this kind of drama, so they just want to leave. Sesa Mayanda, who I believe is actually works, maybe he's a hair hostess, but he works in aviation, because I've seen him comment on Travel to Niger um, and sharing his expertise in that space. He said this, allow me to bring my contribution. Unless an extra payment has been made for a specific seat, airline staff can put a passenger on any seat even if the passenger had requested one particular seat during reservation or checking. A granted seat without extra payment for the seat is just a favor the airline company does, not an obligation. Wow, so this is actually interesting to know because I didn't quite know this, that it's actually, they don't have to. Well, I guess I knew because I know there's some times where they can kick you off your seat if they want to put families together. So that's fair. Number two, he said, overhead bins are not part of the seat. The number of seats in an airplane exceeds by far the number of carry-ons that can be stored in the overhead bins. Should these carry-ons be regular trolleys? For example, in an Airbus 320 with about 180 seats, 30 rows of six seats, only a maximum of around 90 trolleys can be stored above while backpacks can go under the seat. So that's actually interesting but he's, because he's basically saying that you know, there's not enough space for everybody on top anyway. Third point, he said, the behavior shown by the lady is a perfect description of an unruly passenger who has to be taken off a plane, off the plane. Fourth point, the crew was exceptionally patient and remarkably kind to allow her to say, that is my job. I've even had a refresh to refresh e-learning training on unruly passengers last month. My advice, don't try what that lady did. That might cost you more than you can afford. Actually, I believe the lady was taken off the plane. That's what um, the person said, but yeah. Next point, Tukbaya Shem 294 said, I witnessed similar scenarios with Turkish airline from Lagos to Istanbul. The lady claimed somebody put a bag in her supposed seats. She made a fool of herself that night and an elderly man tra was trying to calm her down, but she refused. It takes the air hostess to sort her out. We people should try and be taking things easy. Fair enough. Um, a Sai Sesson says, ha ha ha, giving me first time vibes. I would most definitely kick her off in a heartbeat and would enjoy doing so too, bye. So I guess it, it might be that it's her first time or she's just having a bad day, who knows, to be honest. Victor underscore Edward says, she's very lucky. If she had tried this nonsense in the UK or US, they would have been on the floor with hand, she would have been on the floor with handcuffs and out of the plane in no time. To be honest, I, I've noticed that in the US, the airlines, the hair hostesses do not play when it comes to dealing with passengers. Like I've seen so much of that in the news. King underscore Vic underscore I says, she's right though. Your bag should be right above your seat. Airlines should stop overbooking, right? So it's interesting because, you know, when you think about it logically in a way, it's like, okay, ideally your, you know, your bag should be above, should be close enough to you because let's give the lady a bit of a, as in there's no justification for what she did in my opinion, like how she got really mouthy, no justification. But I know, right, there are some, times when I flown on a Nigerian sort of like rooted flight, whereby my seat is like 
20A or something or 25A and I'll have to put my luggage at like 30A because people have even like, people that, some people have even gone to the, like at the back of the plane, I've put their luggage in front. So it can be a bit annoying, so I get that. How I work around that personally is making sure I get on the plane first. <laughs> so that I, I actually, you know, select um, the sort of like, I get the overhead space for me. Arin Dolu 05 said, some people just like trouble Sha. I guess she hasn't been on planes much to know that putting bags overhead where you find it, find a space is the norm. Like, let me know, is it the norm? Do you think it's the norm generally or do you think it's just the norm on Nigerian flights? Like, let me know what you think about that. Our Wale official says, they should have removed her. Ignorance is no excuse. Overhead locker space in economy or coach cabin can be used by any passenger. Seat number on locker foolishly thought that meant that the locker above the seat is reserved for her. No, people need to stop these behavior because airlines are considering eliminating overhead locker use in the future, believe it or not. Even if it was her first time to fly and didn't know rules, there is no reason for her behavior. I agree completely. You cannot reward bad behavior. The next flight she might encounter, somebody who would not put up with her nonsense, um, and gave her one slap and good beating, then what? To be honest, like, that action of her taking the guy's luggage and putting it on the floor, like, on a Nigerian flight, that's like a recipe for potential disaster, you know? So that wasn't smart of her, in my opinion. Um, Juliet Olisa 3 had a different point of view. She said, why don't we try to do the right thing? The numbers are assigned to individuals for a reason. It happened to me and I was told to put my hand luggage under my feet for eight hours flight from USA to Amsterdam. Very unfair. I do not blame the woman. I think, you know what, maybe the um, airlines need to be more clear and direct to tell people that, you know what, that cabin luggage above is not, necess not necessarily for the seat below. Maybe it's ideally, but not necessarily. I think if, if airlines come and clarify that, people would know better, right? Um, another person said, T.E. Rixa ESQ. But she is right though, it's her seat. The AOSS doesn't know her job. She's right to tell them that it's her space which she paid for. Besides, the man has his own space to keep his bag. See, that's the interesting thing because a lot of times actually someone else has put you, their luggage in your space. So you have to find somewhere else, which is like a ripple effect and affects everybody else. Right? Um, yes, guys, there's so many more, um, comments here. Um, okay. Someone else said, I, Obama 99 said, I know it's kind of frustrating to find someone's carry on, on your overhead storage on the airplane but just calm down and accept any space you get. This act is common amongst my Nigerian people. At least I have traveled to a few countries and I have never witnessed anyone putting their carry on on my overhead. I am not saying citizens of other countries don't do it, but I've never witnessed it personally. To be honest, I think like in general, we probably carry a lot more luggage. Like we're probably one of the um, heavy buyers of duty free, like we carry luggage. So I think compared to even other countries, Nigerians have extra luggage compared to other people, which may not fit in the cabins. Yeah. Yes, guys. So that is sort of like the video I'm going to share with you today. Like, what are your thoughts? Like, do you think the woman was right in her behavior? Do you think people should just stick to their own luggage space? Um, like what I, I really want to know what your thoughts are. Like my personal thoughts are regardless of any situation, like one has to ensure that one does not escalate it right to a point whereby you're getting kicked off a plane. Like it's not worth it. Like if, if anything, as this, as the, as the committee member said, the air hostess actually offered to um, put her luggage somewhere else. Even if that space is far, I would tell the air hostess that, okay, because it's far, when the plane lands, can you make sure you bring it for me then? And that would be like my bargaining chip around if my luggage was put somewhere really far from me. I didn't want to go back, you know, to go get it, right? That would be my point on that. Um, yes, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you guys, you know, you know, be nice when you travel on the plane, you know, like avoid drama. Like, let me also know if you know of, of any other travel etiquettes that you feel like a lot of people are not following. Um, it would be really great to hear them in the comment section below. Thank you once again for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a huge thumbs up and I will see you on my next video. Bye.